This is day two of 14. It's middle of the afternoon and I'm uh, sitting here. I actually may just spin around. Okay, right there, that's the island on Brennan. The water is super, super high right now. Paddling in, I didn't do any video because I wasn't sure what I was coming into. Uh, I've already been up to the, uh, to the first rapids and they are running like mad. So we're just going to take a paddle up. I just want to show you people what it's looking like out here because there's no beaches. Everything is gone because the water is just so high. So we're just going to get spun around here and now we're looking down the Kippora River. And if you take this for another, I think it's about three kilometers, it takes you right to Turner Falls. Coming in here, I'm going to be paddling against the current. And if you take a look around, I don't know if you'll be able to see it through the camera, but there's eddies all over the place. Because we're right at the exit here. And I can really feel the current just pulling the canoe around. And when you get up to the rapids, wow, I don't think I'm going to be hitting those for another week. I'm going to wait until next week before I even try going around there because I don't even know if I'd be able to make it over the other side. I really don't feel like going down the rapids with all my camera gear. <laughs> Not a good idea. So I'm going to just paddle through here and I'm going to videotape the entire thing. Not really videotape, digital tape, I guess, whatever you would call it. I'm just going to paddle through here and shut my mouth and let you guys enjoy the scenery. All right? Let's have some fun. The only thing you're going to hear is my paddle and the occasional cough from me.
current strong. And I'm not even at the rapids yet. <laughs> This is going to be a tight space here. I'll hide behind these log ceilings. Far side where all the sand bars, all the clothes washing away. Easy to wrap it. Be a much nicer paddle going back, that's for sure.
nothing but eddies around here. I'm getting pulled around all over the place. Looks right state of the shore, the calmer the water is going to be. I'm sure you can hear the rapids by now. It's not a big rapid, there's just no way around it right now. Just because of the way the portage is, it's so close. And with the water being this high, I don't think I'll even be able to make it in. But I'm going to give it a shot and have some fun here. So you can see where I am, it's relatively calm, but you can take a look at this. Thank you for calm. heading back. So now we get to paddle with the current, which is a nice paddle. And I switched the, switched the angle so you can see my ugly mug for a change.
kind of disappointing that I'm not making it to Turner this time around, but I should have known better. It's this time of year. I was up here once in May and it was the same thing. I was paddling up towards there and I had a really hard time getting in. And in fact, I don't even think, no, I never even made it in that time. Uh, I came in a couple of weeks later and I had, still had a hard time, but I made it in. So if I was to come back here in say three weeks, I'm sure I would have no problem because by then the water will have dropped enough. But for now, there's still a lot of other lake that we can explore over the next week and a half or so. And that's one of the things we're going to do. A special hello to my mom. Hey mom, I'm sorry I didn't make it to see you for Mother's Day. So uh, I know this doesn't make up for it, but I'm really sorry I couldn't make it because I was out here. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Love you. Same to my wife. I I bought the flowers at least. But <laughs> here I am, another holiday, out in the bush. I'm really lucky that I have a wife as understanding as what I do. Time to play. I also bought flowers for my daughter, seeing that she may not be a mom as of yet, but in August she will be, so yes, a happy Mother's Day to me, to my daughter Emily. Now this is more like it. You don't even have to paddle out here. Let the current take you. How could you not love doing this? I know people talk about how scared they look going when they're, when they're out in the bush. I just, how can you not love doing this? It's got to be one of the most peaceful things that you can do. Somebody's old tree stand sitting here. Yeah, I'll swing around so you can see it. I don't want to get the camera dirty. And then you just allow the canoe to orient itself and it's going to start moving right back down the river again.
current really moves. Wow. Wish I could paddle this fast all the time. I'm not even paddling. Oh, this is the easiest way to paddle. <laughs> I'll let Mother Nature take me home. So next week when I get back from this, I've got... I gotta get back to work with the gang at... Uh, the cable station to Miskaming, CCTVK. They hired me two weeks ago, and a lot of what I'm doing here, I'm doing with their generous help. And I'm going to be working in production with some good friends, uh, Stephanie, Jocelyn, uh, with Jauk. They're the three people that I'll be spending a lot of time with. Uh, Diana Lee comes in weekly and does the news magazine. Chantal is going to come back, I hope. I, if you would have saw it two weeks ago, I made a total mess <laughs> of open book in French. It was not my thing, but you know what? I had fun and I tried it, and I had a good time doing it. Uh, <laughs> gave Chantal a good laugh. It's really nice to get to work with them. Uh, they're, I'm out here doing this on behalf of them in part, and it's a real dream come true. I now know that. I've got something to keep me occupied, out of trouble, and to pay for a lot of my bills. It's not uh, cheap to buy these cameras and run around in the bush like this. It's, uh, but it's something that I love doing. And now I know that I have the, the financial freedom to be able to do this. It really makes a huge difference. And I am just over the top with this. This is such an amazing place. The island's just up ahead here. And then eventually I'll be heading down to the Desjardins River, which would be another couple kilometers down the lake. And then I think it's about seven kilometers up the river. And I'm going to try to make it to Keswick, which is one of the lakes that's on the Manawaki Highway. Uh, just to show you how short of a trip it would be if I did it by canoe as opposed to taking the road all the way back down to Red Pine and then coming back up the Manawaki to that same point. It's probably not going to be an easy trip as it is with this. There's going to be a lot of current there, although there isn't any rapids. So that part I've, I know that I won't have to worry about. But it's still not going to be an easy paddle. It's, but it's something that I really wanted to try. I want to see the transition. If you take a look at all the trees behind me, you can see how they're starting to see the white buds on the popular and the reds, the red buds on the maples and on the hardwoods. And the place is just starting to change. And in two weeks when I leave here, it's going to be that really young green look. And I just want to see the transition over the time that I'm here. I've never done this out here before. It's something I've done many times in the past, but not by canoe. It's uh, Really cold water. Not something you want to go swimming in for sure. But if that was to happen, I, I would hope that I would make it out of it okay. Uh, it's happened before. Not in this cold water though, and I don't plan on having it happening again. So, I'm going to spend the next few days just paddling around here and having a good time. And you guys are welcome to check it out. Hi everybody. Day five, go back up at the rapids again. I've already been through once just to check it out. The water level has really dropped. It's looking a lot better, but it's still, I couldn't make it into the landing. I can make it to just around the point from it. There's a little, little point that sticks out. I can make it to there, but I can't make it around it because the rapids were too strong. So I'm just gonna take a run up, just show you what they look like today compared to what they were. Uh, today's Thursday, so it would have been Monday. So three days ago. It's quite a bit of quite a bit of a difference in the amount of water flowing through here now. 